Okay, this is the last one for the day. Uh, might have a couple others and clean it up. Because I got to go to the gym and I got to hop in a car and drive. Uh, this is written by a nice girl, but I'm going to tell this young lady, charge you 85 bucks. You could have been charged about 35 if you use paragraphs. I'm also going to assume you did voice to text. Now, you have questions about a career in education, and uh, I'm not Dave Ramsey, I'm the mean guy. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to be successful in whatever your educational or business uh, endeavors are, you all have to give up this voice to text and 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 just a block of text. I, I can show you the scrolling. It's just a block of text. It rapes my eyes. It rapes anybody's eyes. And it immediately puts people in a foul mood. And that is not going to help you. No matter what you... You could have a great career. Like, you could major in computer engineering. That'd be a great... Become a, you do that, people are just not going to respond well to you. I mean, they're not going to hate you, but they're not going to get back to you. They're going to be like, oh, who is this idiot? <clears throat> I mean, they might have an IQ of 100. So that extra $50 you paid was a very important lesson. So you're going to use paragraphs. I mean, texting your friends, yeah, do voice to text. But conducting business, or hiring people out, paragraphs, no block o text, no voice to text. Dear Cappy, <clears throat> high school graduate about to enter a non-target university uh, in a particular state for uh, nursing. As of now, my advisor tells me I could change major a week before school started. I'm really concerned. Well, here's another thing about that. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. You could change your degree anytime. I mean, not at any time, but the semester goes by, you can redeclare your major. <clears throat> um, because the first two years you're going to be going to school are completely prerequisite, have nothing to do with your degree anyway. Uh, look up academiccomposition.com. Uh, I went through high school wanting to be a doctor, took some STEM courses for it, hated science, but stuck through it with my no pain, no gain mentality. Great. Am a, um, you got a nerdy hobby that you excel at? <clears throat> um, you're more, um, I want to keep you anonymous. Your brain gets more joy out of being artistic and that's fine. Uh, but you're doing the right thing and saying, all right, this isn't going to pay, but it is a hobby. So that's good. And you're pretty good at it, too. Um, <clears throat> you went to state, got second place, but always knew I didn't want to become a, a profession in this field. I just wanted to be able to afford it as a hobby on the side. Very smart. Senior year hits. I know I have to give up uh, pre-med because I just knew it wouldn't work out for me in the long term. Outstanding. You decided to save yourself a lot of time and you were honest with yourself. These are all good things. <clears throat> uh, let me go. And now I'm left with no options, basically. No, you have you have you have all the options in the world except going to med school. You 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 you, you it's quite the opposite. You have literally every option in the world except med school because you've eliminated that already. And if you want some help, I mean, beyond what I'm going to give you here, you can go get Bachelor Pad Economics, <clears throat> get the book Worthless, maybe read through those. A bit overkill would be how not to become a millennial, but but you can become a pilot. You could become an engineer, an accountant, you go to the military. You can you could just sit, go to school, get your prereqs out of the way, and sit and figure it out. Take your time. You can research. You go into the trades. You can, um, <clears throat> you have literally every, you could... Stay thin, stay hot, find a quality man, get married, and have a family. You could be a stay-at-home wife if you wanted. Uh, every option is on the table for you now, and you're making the best decision I've seen the high school graduate make. It's saying, I don't know what to do before I piss away four years at $200,000 on a degree I'm not too sure about. I need to acknowledge I don't know and sit down and figure it out. <clears throat> so you are going to come out way further ahead if you take the time, and it may be five weeks, it may be two years, but sit down and figure out what you want to do. Now, nursing is certainly, that's a fine and noble profession. Absolutely okay with that. Uh, but right now, my main point is to forgive yourself and to paint a little bit of, of a lot of hope, actually, because you're, you're, you're identifying now when you don't know what you want, which is, which is good. It's going to save you tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars <clears throat> before you turn uh, 25 is this a tag why is there a tag on my i went to goodwill
I don't know why this is a tag. Are they getting new clothes and selling them at Goodwill? <laughs> Alright. Um, was top 10% uh, ranked very highly at school, but only because my parents support me in everything I do and have always pushed me to do the best I can. That That's not wrong. Uh, and it's, yeah, it, it it is a night and day difference between a broken, dysfunctional, single-parent home with, with mentally ill parents versus it sounds like a nuclear family that was supporting you there. But you also had to take the tests. You also had to study. And so it is your parents investing in you to make you the best version you could possibly be. And I think they've done that. But it's not them. They just allowed you to develop to become the best that you could be. Now you, yourself, personally, are the best that you can be. <clears throat> and you have those skills. That is you. So it, was, it wasn't just them and you're some, you know, uh, non-sentient variable that just randomly gets pushed around by society. You made the choice to study. So you do have these skills. I would thank your parents tremendously, though, for it. Uh, I'm the eldest in our household and the pressure is getting to me. Ah, uh, that's how you end up becoming excellent. I'm sorry, kid. <clears throat> Pressure, it's its like coal. Coal stays coal unless it gets pressure and heat and turns into a diamond. Um, so, yeah, and, and dude, if you think you got pressure now, wait till you go to college. High school is easy, Mo. High school is easy. <clears throat> it only gets harder and stronger from here. I'm so worried that failing that I even took aptitude tests. Many other past smart students in my school have taken it in the past. It seemed to work out for them. Career showed up on the result list. Oh, yeah, like a career assessment. You can do those. While I took mine, I let her know I wanted to become a nurse practitioner and that the test told me my top career choices were psychologist. Not a thing. You can do that later. Financial planning. No, no, nobody makes money there. Lawyer. No, nobody makes money there either unless you're like your super top niche. And uh, that is one of the most regretted professions. Import export agent. No. Educator, no. Occupational therapist, no. Entrepreneur, I don't know who pays for entrepreneurs. You got to go out and do that yourself. Copywriter, <clears throat> just mainly consulting careers. Okay, you, <clears throat> here's the problem I have with those tests. Um, You're 18? Dude, you haven't even, you haven't even left the artificial environment of school yet. Uh, I would have, abs uh, one, pretty much all those are horrible careers requiring way too much education and nowhere near the employment stability that you need. And two, I don't know how the heck they assess that on an 18-year-old mind. Um, I absolutely would not let any of those things guide your options on account most of those are horrible. I just honestly don't know what to do for college. Parents insist I must go, all right. You're going to have to talk to your parents. I mean, show them this video. It... it <clears throat> I understand if your parents want you to go and you get the prereqs out of the way, okay? At least get that out of the way. But your most it's immediate second job is to find out what you want to do. That's going to take some time, which is why I'm kind of against parents. Like, you must go to college. Like, <laughs> hang on. Well, what if you want to be a tradesman? You know, what if, you'd, you, what if you'd make the best electrician ever and you run your own electrician company and you're making a quarter million a year? I mean... <clears throat> There's a better chance of that than you becoming a lawyer. I'll tell you that. Or there's more success in that than, than you becoming a lawyer. Um, I don't know. Parents from the system must go. The majors that actually had some worth on the list were finance. No, that is not a good degree. That's the degree I have. It is a worthless degree. International business. Worthless degree. Music and psychology. Worthless degree. I was going to go with finance, but after seeing your videos and reading more about others' experience in the field, I am not so certain of doing so. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <clears throat> I get all these emails. I got my master's in finance. I make 48000 as an advisor, and I'm not making any money. I also had a far fetch, but still their aptitude for computer programming and information science. Okay. Being a programmer is good. That's good money. Surprisingly, nursing nor accounting were on there. I, if hey, hang, how, how about this? Instead of the test telling you what you should do, why don't you just go volunteer at a hospital or go talk to some nurses? Right, seriously, go volunteer at night. Go hang out with the nursing department. See if it's what you'd like to do. Go talk to a nurse practitioner. <clears throat> I know several nurse practitioners, and it's not all joy and roses. 
Uh, look up, what was it, blueberries? Blueberry muffins? What was that? Oh. I mean, it ain't good money, don't get me wrong. Uh, but why don't you go in, and investigate some of these so that you can start checking them off your list? So I say, oh my God, I love accounting. <clears throat> And while you are going and getting your prereqs out of the way, why not take an accounting class? That is not going to hurt you. That will help you. Also, coincidentally, figuring out maybe if you want to do accounting. Um, mm -hmm. Computer programming. Why not take a computer programming class while you're getting your prereqs out of the way? Uh, as of now, I'm considering either a major in finance with a minor in accounting and then law school. No! No! Double majoring in master's information system, computer science. No, 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 no. I'm glad you contacted me. This is the best 85 bucks you ever spent. Look, if you're going to get an undergrad in some hardcore like computer science, you don't need management and information systems. You don't need that. I mean, maybe minor in MIS, learn how to be the indispensable IT guy, but no, you don't, you don't need, do the computer science major in the MIS. And, holy cow, double major in MIS, computer science, and finance, then law school? Why did you major in such hard things to become a lawyer? What? No. No law school. No. Or financial advisor. No. No. Financial advising is dead. That's what we got. Robo look, okay, you want to you wanna scratch finance off the list? You don't have to believe me. Go look up robo-advisors and go look up index investing. <clears throat> And then you tell me how many, if what you think the future of financial advising is. Um, finance, after 10 years of building up credit, building credibility. And also I worked my way up there. Majoring in psychology, no. <clears throat> and then either getting into OT, occupational therapy, law, or psychologist, no. I really don't want, look, if you're going to go into psychology, you have to get a doctorate. That's it. It's the only, you're going to have to get a doctorate. Um, and expect it to be a bunch of bullshit. Because, I mean, you get into neurochemistry, that's a little bit different. But general psychology, no. <clears throat> Unless you get a doctorate. And you know what? You can go get your degree in computer science, work really hard, make a lot of money, and then if you feel like going and becoming a, a psychologist, then you go get your doctorate in psychology through grad school. <clears throat> Or just sticking with what I'm good at and majoring in this particular art subject and becoming a teacher. No, they don't pay. Especially artist, artistic, touchy feeling. You no. Know. Look, and I'll tell you this, kid. You're smarter than hell. Okay? You got the grades to prove it, and you're, you're sitting and thinking, it'd be a tragedy if that brain of yours went to be wasted on being a teacher. A teacher. Which, in all honesty, is an overpaid babysitter. <clears throat> so no and then I mean do you like being poor you would have never left school you would have been in school since you were five and then you wouldn't have worked there till you're dead uh, I truly believe that listening to aptitude tests would be good for me in the long run no but at the same time I don't accept it to good law schools and whatnot. I also want to be financially secure right now after college in case my mom and my dad what <laughs> Oh, it just hurts that I had to give up uh, majoring in a worthless degree because of my parents' situation in COVID. No, no, actually, this is one of those things where something that seems bad is actually a blessing. Because if you majored in your art that you want to do, you would have been equally poor and miserable for the rest of your life. That is something you go and do. <clears throat> you do not study it and then reteach it. Um... Even my uh, other teacher in the field says I have a good chance of becoming a particular type of profession uh, in Europe and New York if I stuck through it. Do you know how little those people make? You could do that without having to study. You could go do these things on your own as hobbies. If you don't believe me, talk to my buddy Matt Baldoni. He was also an artist. He's a musician. He, he dropped out of school. And he is one of the most talented and successful musicians out there. I mean, heck, go look up any, any famous musician. They, they didn't go to school for it. Thank you for your time. Apologize, went too long on a rant. No, I just request for clarity because I feel any decision made out of fear. And I put, okay, 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 all right. 
This is our... You're doing all the right things, dear, and it is perfectly all right to be confused at this point because, frankly, no one gives you any real-world advice because you are in an environment called school, and it's amazing and flowers and wonderful, heart, money, follow this, that, that, you go, girl, blah, 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 blah. You need to introduce some reality and economics into it. And that's why about the only degree you listed in that entire thing was computer science. Okay, that's Because that's it's the only thing that has a job at the end of it. <clears throat> And it's, it's your art is your passion. Thankfully, you don't have to go to school for that because there is no upside potential going to school for that. So you can practice that on the side. Right? And then you're, you are barfing out all these options for grad school. <whistles> Hold off, dude. You don't even know. You're, you're 18. Go to school, work several years, then figure out whether you want to get a master's degree, whether that's law, psychology, or anything. You... You don't have to make these decisions today. And if you do, you're going to screw it up because you're not dumb. You're young and inexperienced. You don't know. This is not something to be figured out at this point in time. You need to figure out, even if you're going to go to college, okay, that's one thing. Uh, and, and in the meantime, you might as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Go get some prereqs out of the way. Get some credits. And use that time in undergrad, take a couple classes, accounting here, computer programming there, and see if you like it. You don't even have to take classes, but if you're going to go to college, you might as well go. You could study online for free. Not in a university, just, just what's it? Grab a computer coding book, learn how to code online for free. All right? I would also invest some time following around some nurse practitioners or some nurses, go to a hospital, see if you can volunteer, see what it's like, talk to talk to some nurse practitioners. Actually, I got a couple of buddies, maybe they could provide some insight. Maybe they'd be kind enough <coughs> to comment below. Um, but those are the only two viable options, nurse practitioner and computer science. That's the only ones you ever, ever did. So you need to spend at least the next year, either through college or your own independent study, <coughs> Uh, and, and there's no problem with that, figuring out what you want to do. I'm going to not strongly recommend. I'm going to demand you read Worthless, The Young Person's Indispensable Guide to Choosing the Right Major. Right? <clears throat> you could read Bash of Pad Economics, but not all the way through. Read through that topically, but I, I don't know if you need that. Uh, and it's just your, your next job is to, you go to college, but you got to pick. It's not to declare a major. It's to explore other majors. I would also maybe consider joining the military. Right? Look that up on the internet. What's it like to be in the military? Although nowadays, it's not really the military. It's like, oh my God, we gave each other hugs and we became emotional and it was wonderful. But uh, another thing to consider because they'll pay for your education. And that's a great place to go if you don't know what you want to do. You'll figure out quick in the military what you want to do. Uh, and then maybe after a year, Revisit what you want to do and realize you will have not wasted the year. It's perfectly fine. Um, but every degree I said no to, do not major in that stuff. Trust you, me. But otherwise, <clears throat> yeah, I think you're going to do fine because you're realizing now early, not when you're 32 and getting your master's, that you hate your job as a social worker. And you're $200,000 in debt for your master's in social work. All right. Uh, all right, that's it. Questions, answers, asshole consulting.com. See you guys later. Toodles.